Hey, it's Timothy at the Commodore Productions. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your product videos next level. So you don't need much equipment to create the visuals I just created there. Those were some spec ads I made a while back just for fun. Here's the equipment I used. A camera, a tripod, a light, a fishing line, which was optional, and a coffee table, or anything that you can use as a backdrop, which was also optional. So what you really need to know is how to go about it in your editing program. This isn't really a tutorial, but rather a concept breakdown of the effects being used. So that being said, let's jump into it. In post-production, there are three main techniques that you'll be using, and I'll be going into details with each of those categories. There's masking, using the 3D camera, and B-roll. You can pretty much create this all in Premiere Pro, but having After Effects will help you along the way. One particular tool I used to help speed up my masking process was rotoscoping. Rotoscoping helps isolate the object from the background, and in this case, it's the shoebox. Now, rotoscoping isn't perfect, so sometimes I would have to go in and do touch-ups. At times, this process can be frame for frame. However, it is much faster than masking by hand and making the adjustments from there. Now let's talk about that optional fishing line I mentioned before. When hanging your objects with the fishing line, the rotoscoping tool will be able to isolate the object a lot easier. But here's the process if the fishing line is not at your disposal, particularly for shoe products using the shoelace. You will have to use this clone stamping tool to remove the shoelace when and if it comes in front of the shoe, like what happened to me here. Clone stamping takes a sample of an area nearby to magically replace the thing that you want to remove. This process was quite tedious and is very particular to this scenario, but it's a solution for those not having a fishing line and want to use the shoelace string alternative. However, even with the fishing line, I still went in and clone stamped the knot points to clean up the look. Now that I've separated the subjects from the background, next I will create the 3D effect using the 3D camera. For this particular scene, I've added in additional elements, such as flickering text, motion graphic animations using trim paths, smoke, which is barely noticeable, lasers using the saber effect, and a slightly transparent logo background. You can change the Z values of each object at different positions, which in hand will give you the illusion of moving through 3D space. So the key takeaway here is to mask out your product, add in objects at different Z value positions, and move your 3D camera accordingly. Here are some visuals to help you understand. Last is just adding in B-roll scenes. Getting B-roll is pretty straightforward. Just use a variety of shots with different angles, be sure to highlight key features of the product, and use references to understand how people showcase the product itself. I like to get detailed shots, so any 50mm plus lens for a full frame camera, or any 25mm plus lens for a micro four thirds camera with a low f-stop value would do the trick. So yeah, that's all I have to share in this video. As you can see, you can create unique and professional product ads using this technique. And the really, really cool thing is that you don't need that much gear to do so. Hope you guys learned something new. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.